Hi, middle school parents. This is Ann Phoenix, principal of St. Joseph Catholic School. I want to take a minute and do a high level overview of Google Classroom, which is our learning management system in grades 6th, 7th, and 8th. And in 6th, 7th, and 8th grade, our students use Google Classroom every single day. So it's real important that our parents have some visibility into this platform and that they understand what our students are seeing every day. So as we begin, the first thing I want to mention is that all students uh, have been given an online uh, code, a login code for Google, for their Google accounts. And so your child, uh, their first initial and then their last name, their graduating year at student.sjslibertyville.org. And then obviously they have a unique passport, password um, that was given just to them. The login and password, parents, you should be asking your child for this information. You need to keep it in a spot at home so that you have access to Google Classroom at any time that you want to log in. So I'm going to go ahead. I have my password in there. I'm going to click Next. And once I am logged in, it's going to take me to the home screen here of Google Classroom. If when you log in, it does not take you to the home screen, you're gonna go up here to your waffle, you're gonna click that, and you're just going to click down here where it says Google Classroom, and that's gonna then take you to this page. And so parents, what I wanna do is just give you a very quick tour of Google Classroom, um, uh, especially if you're new to middle school or you're new to St. Joe's. The students who were in our middle school last year this is the same tool that they used last year. So parents, this is going to be familiar to you. However, for those new students, it's important that you, um, and new parents, it's important that you're able to check this out. So you have visibility in what your students see. So our learning management system, Google Classroom, is our main communication vehicle between our teachers and our students when it comes to pushing out either assignments, or upcoming tests or quizzes with the dates or any kind of information that our teachers need to get out to get to our kids. So if we look at this, you're going to notice that every class that this child is enrolled in here at school has a, a Google Classroom page for that, for that particular class. So the first one listed is math. And so if I, if I look at this math one, you're going to notice here, there are two things that are posted as opposed to if you look at language arts, there's nothing posted right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and look at the math and, and I wanna call your attention to the fact that this first assignment, which is due, it was due today, that this student had to complete this assignment up here, um, the complete page 36 and some problems and a math Excel assignment, and that they have a chapter one quiz on Thursday. You're going to notice that Mrs. Hoynacki, the teacher, posted this assignment on September 1st, which is two days ago, and that you're gonna notice it's due today. Now, to get back to this home screen in Google Classroom, you just go ahead and click this button up here and you can click classes. Now, if I go down here, it says due Tuesday, and if I click on that assignment, I'm going to notice that Mrs. Hoynacki posted this assignment, a math, it's a math Excel as well as a worksheet. She posted it at 7.30 this morning on Thursday and it's due September 8th. Right here is the due date. Now to go back to the home screen again, I'm gonna go ahead and click on my hamburger and go to classes. So you're going to notice this is for every single class. If I uh, check out another class um, here, if I go to reading, I'm gonna see due Sunday. So this student's digital reading log is due on Sunday and it's due by 7 p.m. on Sunday. Now, what I wanna point out here is within Google Classroom, our teachers are able to push out assignments sometimes that are either Google Slides or documents that your child is then able to edit. So this digital reading log, if I were to click on this right here, this is this student's digital reading log that they're able to go in and update because as we saw a few seconds ago, this assignment is due by this date. 
And so it's important, parents, that you have some visibility in here because this is where your student is able to see any, uh, any projects that are assigned, any homework that's assigned, any in-class work that's pushed out, but it also is gonna give you a heads up on quizzes. And this is an example here of the quiz. So it says here, how scientists work, key concept summary. So this was posted by Mr. Scott on September 1. And you're going to see to please review the key concept summary, uh, which is attached. And if I were to click on this link, it's going to bring me to the assignment that they had to study. You do not have to answer the question at the bottom, but be prepared for a quiz on this material on Thursday, meaning today. So this was posted a couple days ago. Here is what the kids had to study. And they, had to, they knew that they had a quiz in science on Thursday. So within Google Classroom, everything that our teachers push out is going to be right in here. And students are able to um, easily uh, check out what's due. There's another feature in here I want to point out, this calendar. So if I click on calendar and I go to today, this is everything that's relevant for today right here. So let's just say here, and there's an assignment called Animal Crossing Candyland Quiz. If I were to click on that, that's going to take me to a reading assignment that Mrs. Hadges must have assigned. Um, she assigned it on September 2nd. If you're going to notice, it's due today. And she also posted the directions of how to do it. And so your student then just has to click on the directions and everything is right here. And so obviously this is about, um, this is a reading assignment that, that this class had to do. And then, um, and it's paired to the Scholastic Scope um, um, booklets that we use in our middle school. So I'm gonna go ahead and get out of that. So um, Google Classroom, it's our online platform that our teachers are, will push out homework and in-class work and any upcoming assignments or due dates or projects or tests and quizzes to your student. It is so important, parents, that you have visibility in here because if you want to know what's going on in a classroom, this is where everything is going to be. Now, I can take it a step further and I can click on this reading class and you're going to see everything that has been assigned to this student in reading so far this school year. And we've only been in school for about two weeks, but all of this has been pushed out to your child. So you're gonna notice Mrs. Hadges, our reading teacher, is asking our students to bring the book, Devil's Arithmetic, to class. Um, and that post is right in here. You're also going to, if I click on here, you're going to notice there's a Latin and Greek quiz coming up. If I were to click on that, she posted that today. It's due September 11th is when they're going to have this quiz. So your middle school student needs to sit down with you and explain to you about Google Classroom so you have a very clear idea of what Google Classroom is all about. Parents, I hope this helped and we will see you soon. Thank you.